Hey guys, as you saw last time, obviously I uh, dislocated my shoulder, but it's uh, mostly come back good now after a couple of weeks off, and uh, it's time to get stuck back into the house again. But um, after talking to Mrs. Jeff and getting into a little bit of trouble for uh, falling off the ladder like an idiot, what was that? I don't know if you heard that, but she yelled out reckless behavior. Um, I'm going to clean everything up and then hopefully get some scaffolding in to finish up the weatherboard. So that means um, first things first is to get out there and clean some stuff up. So um, My next task, as you can hear in this echoey place, is I'm actually got to put a skylight in this bathroom. You can see that it actually uh, used to have an external window that uh, now goes through into the extension. So this is a really, really dark room. And it's a pretty disgusting old bathroom that we have not renovated yet. Okay, so this is what I'm using. I'm chucking it in. I've put these sort of skylights in before. They're relatively straightforward, so it's a pretty easy uh, home DIY project. I have an assistant who's going to help. It's so easy, a, uh, a Dachshund can do it. This is obviously the cover for the roof. The panel for in the ceiling. This is a, a plastic diffuser cover thing. And then this flexible tube stuff. All right, another thing I need to get to before I actually get stuck into this is, um, I'll show you up here, this wire here is actually my possum proofing but somewhere possibly over near the front door over there the possums keep getting in that's another task is uh, possum eviction for you guys i'm going to go through and uh, i'm pretty sure i know where the possums are hiding so let's go and see if we can see some there's one right there there he is he's on his back fat and asleep he's not happy that i've woken him up that is a possum. Yeah, as you can see there, he doesn't know what to do. From the sound of him, I thought we had lots. They make a lot of noise because they go out at night and then they come back in and make a hell of a noise right above our bedroom. All right, let's leave him beefing out. All right, so I've cleared a space out here and that is where I'm going to make my skylight go and it's going to go up through here. First step is to uh, poke some holes in here. So excuse the disgusting ceiling because as I mentioned this is a room that we have not touched yet, it hasn't been renovated at all and it's pretty disgusting. This house was a, uh, a rental property for 20 years before we bought it so um, what I've done, I marked out where the rafters are by punching through where I want to put my, uh, my skylight and I marked the edge of the skylight against the um, ceiling joist which runs this way along here and then I've also marked one end of the uh, of roughly where I want it to go. So what I can do now is I can get my ring, hold it up against the ceiling, against those points, and trace it onto the roof. Now, just cut it out. This is the part where I get absolutely covered in dust. And then we have a hole. Just test fit our ring, make sure it fits. Now we have to do the stuff on the roof. All right, so I'm up here on the roof and I lifted a tile from inside so I know roughly where I need to uh, put the skylight and the skylight's gonna go about here. So now I lift some tiles up and um, make some space. I'm gonna have to cut this batten out of the way and I'm gonna have to also um, trim some tiles and make sure that they uh, Basically everything overlaps each other so that no water gets in.
in the end it was easier to just go down and cut these ones. These hopefully now should fit nicely. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Now I'm going to put the tube in. Well, it is definitely much lighter up here now, and uh, I have the last part of the journey to do, which is to install this tube. From experience, I know that uh, it can be a little bit more difficult than it looks, and um, they gave some really thin foil tape with the uh, the kit, but I found that this thicker stuff is uh, is going to be much better, which I've got lying around and make it, things much easier. Another tip is um, with this uh, diffuser sheet, put it in at the very last minute because you always end up knocking dust and grit down on top of it and then you seal it in and then when you look at it from underneath it's got crap sitting on it. So uh, I've learned that the hard way. And get out of this stinking sweaty roof. Alright, so uh, there you go, skylight is in and um, it might not be the way that some of you others might do it, but that's the way I've done it in the past and it works. I've never had one leak, they always work, so um, I'm quite happy. Now, for that possum problem. All right, so um, as you saw earlier today, I had my little possum problem and um, my method for evicting possums, which I've done a few times and it seems to work as long as I've blocked the holes properly, is wait until I'm about to go to bed and hopefully by this stage, the possums are out for the night. They're out eating and playing and doing all their stuff and uh, what I do is I come in and <laughs> block the holes up or at least put a light on overnight and then come and block the holes up in the morning because generally they won't go where their light is because they want a nice dark place to um, rest up. Now I need to block up some holes. I'm going to leave this light on all night and I'm going to put another light up here. Um, I'm going to put this other light up there now to um, ensure that uh, they don't come back tonight and uh, hopefully I'll be able to report back next week that I have no more possums. On that note, that's it for uh, Jeff's house this week and uh, on Friday we'll be back out with the 911. <laughs> okay guys, see you later.